Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I too want to applaud your leadership as chairman of this committee. You've certainly worked to improve economic opportunities, improve schools, get greater access to health care for tribal communities, and we certainly will look forward to working with you in the new Congress in your, in your capacity to continue to work on these issues. Uh, I certainly come to this hearing with still a very heavy heart, but very thankful that you're having this hearing. As many people know, Washington State suffered a devastating tragedy last month at the Marysville Pilchuck High School mm -hmm. that took the lives of five students, including the shooter. Three of those shooting victims were members of the Tulalip Tribe of Washington. And across Washington and across tribal communities, we continue to mourn this incredible tragedy. We'll never know what exactly led to this senseless violence, but it is a deadly and urgent reminder that we must do more to ensure the mental health system can help diagnose and treat young people when they need help. The Marysville shooting is a tragic proof of an alarming statistic. Assaults, homicide, and suicide account for 75% of the deaths of American Indians and Alaska Natives between the age of 12 and 20. That is according to the Department of Justice. This is unacceptable. A robust mental health infrastructure is just one key piece necessary to prevent these tragedies in the future. To that end, I'd like to hear from the panelists of how we can better integrate mental health and primary care services to make sure young people aren't just turned away when they seek care. The state of Washington is revamping its Medicaid delivery system to merge behavioral health and primary health care services by 2020. I would like to know what Indian Health Services is working on to integrate those kinds of behavioral health and primary care too. And unfortunately, data on the issues of psychiatric services available in Indian country Data on the sh shortage are not widely available, but a recent survey from Indian Health Services found that there were only 950 psychiatric beds to serve all tribal communities across the United States of America. So we have to do better, Mr. Chairman. Thank you so much for this important hearing. Any other opening statements?